Welcome everyone to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott and today we're going to talk about the ketogenic diet challenge I went through for mental health reasons. That's what those 30 days of logs were all about. What I was trying to do is experiment and see does food have an impact on my mood? Now the answer is obviously it does. Obviously it does. But I was looking for um, ways that the ketogenic diet would increase my energy, overall mood, how I felt in the mornings, and what it did was actually something that I didn't expect. Um, I'm going to talk about three things that the ketogenic diet basically cured in 30 days. It's pretty remarkable. Um, and then I'm going to talk about what foods I'm introducing now that I've already introduced and what the effect has been so far. Because if you follow me on Twitter and, uh, and Instagram and stuff, you know I've been talking about, man, I just want that coffee. I just want a nice old fashioned plain donut. How about a maple dip? How about a vanilla dip? How about an apple fritter? I was craving some of that stuff. And um, well, I'm going to tell you what I've introduced and what the effect is. But first, the three things. Oh, and also um, blood test results too. You can check this video out. I was in the hospital because I fell off my bike. And what they do is they take your blood uh, when you're in the hospital, see if everything's a okay. And it just so happens I wanted to do that anyways for the ketogenic diet. So I'm like, Hey, uh, nurse may I please have those test results. Can I have a copy of that? Now this doesn't include like B vitamins and things like that. You need separate tests, like for an actual physical to get those, but there's pretty cool things in this blood test, um, that I think you'll find very interesting because the ketogenic diet, man, that's a way different way to eat than I was used to. Like I was pretty high carb and when you're doing 70% fat, 20% protein, 10% carb, I was barely doing 10% carb there. It was very, very different and uh, the blood test actually surprised me. So you ready? Sit back, relax, take your pants off. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is a mental health channel, depression to expression, where we express ourselves fully, freely with confidence. All right, let's do this. The first thing, the ketogenic diet cured at around day, I think it was around day 15 after the keto flu, after um, I felt terrible, um, the big cure was my allergies, seasonal allergies. Now, um, I, ca I can't remember a time where I didn't have seasonal allergies, where my eyes weren't itchy, where my nose wasn't running or plugged, where my ears and, and the roof of my mouth weren't itchy. It, it hasn't happened. And that's a result that I didn't know, I, I didn't expect that to happen. And let me tell you, going through a summer and not having to sneeze, not having to take allergy medication was awesome. Like I go to bed and I can actually breathe through my nose. For all of you who suffer from seasonal allergies, it's like going to bed and you have to breathe through your mouth and you wake up with the dry mouth and the pasties. This was a treat. This was a real treat. And again, from an early, early age, I've been taking Arius. Uh, Claritin doesn't work for me. Arius is the one allergy medication that I take that just does wonders. I'm spitting everywhere. Um, and I was just so surprised by that result. So surprised and so happy. Um, so that's number one. Seasonal allergies, gone with the ketogenic diet. Gone. Number two, this isn't really a cure. And this was pretty much an obvious thing. Um, because my, my calorie intake, I don't think was as high when I, when you go off carbs, um, as you can see by the vlogs, if you, I'm going to, you know, put a link up here where you can see every single vlog I did for the 30 days and you can see how I'm pissed off at the beginning going through keto.